Hello and welcome back to Car Rental University. I am your host, Alex Witherow. Today we're going to talk about the uh, car supply shortage and is that going to alleviate anytime soon or not? And this pertains to semiconductors. Before I get into that, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business. Lots of great information in there. Give this channel a subscribe. We're constantly talking about things that pertain to car share entrepreneurs, um, and car share platforms. So that said, I had a, a good conversation with a friend of mine recently who is a car buyer and seller on behalf of his clients. And we had a long conversation about, um, you know, semiconductors and car, uh, used car and new car supplies. Um, and you know, the, this basically the, the overall gist I heard from him is that there is still very much a semiconductor shortage in this country. Uh, the reason for that is because um, there has been a lot of different, a um, co couple of different things are going on. So during COVID, basically everyone in the factories and everyone in the shipping ports um, that was, you know, sending these parts to this country got COVID and a lot of them had to stay home. So everything has been, you know, production has been kind of chopped in a half. Also, there's been new COVID rev regulations on um, different shipping uh, and manufacturing. So it has slowed down everything. So I don't know if you've heard, but, you know, there's been multiple ships off the coast of California that can't come into port because all the work, many of the workers at the port are not able to work um, because of COVID. So um, some of those ships have been rerouted to Florida, but, you know, it's, it's a little trickier getting through the Panama Canal, et cetera. Um, and right now in the world, all the semiconductors for cars are made in Taiwan. So that is an interesting uh, piece to this whole equation is that, um, now I, I have heard news that um, they're planning to open up a semiconductor plant in Texas. Uh, that would obviously be helpful for car production in the United States. But overall, um, you know, this uh, dealer that I was sp speaking to, he basically said that, uh, you know, typically um, cars uh, at dealerships have, you know, a full supply of cars. They are currently down to 20 to 25 percent of what their normal inventory is. So that is why we are seeing a very large uh, inflation in car prices, uh, making it much more difficult to get a, a new car or even a used car. Um, I'm in the process right now of selling a car. Um, and you know, it, it's value is much higher than I anticipated that it would be. So, um, <clears throat> all that to say, um, it's probably going to be a, another, you know, I've, I've done videos before on this channel talking about getting cars under MSRP right, right now. That's not going to happen. Um, just getting a car is the challenge right now, but, um, you know, um, you know, you're, you're really not going to get any kind of discount from uh, any dealership currently. They're just trying to sell anything they have and basically they're going to just tell you what the price is so unfortunately there's not a lot of wiggle room on negotiation right now with cars so all that to say i wish i had better news for you but it looks like um we are kind of we're, we're still going to be hunkering down for a little while on car acquisition in terms of getting new cars and getting uh, you know being able to to expand or or scale quickly uh, unless you're gonna you know if you do that you're gonna pay a premium for it so um, all that to say I mean you know in that regard I think spring free EV is a good uh, alternative because you can lease the car for a year um, it's basically just like a rental contract and then you know you, you give the car back when you're done and you can make money on it in the meantime uh, without having to deal with the whole car acquisition component so all that to say, um, I wish I had better news for you guys, but the supply shortage of cars is planning to continue indefinitely. Um, COVID regulations, um, shipping problems, lack of uh, semiconductor plants, it, you know, there's a lot of things going on right now in the world that are making it challenging to have more cars here. So drop a comment below, let me know what you're doing to get cars. I'd be uh, curious to hear what you guys are up to. Um, all that to say, before you go, click below, grab the five things you must do before starting a car rental business, and I will catch you in the next episode. Thank you.